Hello everyone, I'm Jesse Kroll. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. After splitting a doubleheader with McAllister Wednesday, the 13th ranked St. Thomas softball team's conference leading record stands at 14-2. Freshman Kirsten Anderson Glass anchors a pitching staff that's ERA is just over one. The Tommies have a remarkable .325 team batting average with third baseman Michaela Trainer leading the Tommies with 28 RBIs. I'm joined today by Coach John Cheetah and both Anderson Glass and Trainer. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Coach, the game you won yesterday was a shutout, 2-0 shutout, uh, and that's 12 on the season. So is it more about defense or is it more about pitching or a little bit of both? Well, she had her no-hitter and she blew it. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, she... Uh, a perfect game, actually. So really, it's about she had some great plays defensively, but she has to hit her spots and make the ball move. So she did great, but of course her teammates were there to help her out. So we kind of just touched on right there, Kirsten, about the pitching. You've had a remarkable season. On Monday, you're just saying my pitcher player of the week. Um, you lead the team in strikeouts. You lead the team in wins. I mean, you're a freshman. Did you think this was going to happen your first year? Not at all. I feel very grateful to be in this position with all my teammates. Not to put you on the spot, but what were kind of the expectations coming into this year? Um, just play my hardest, play my best, work yeah. with my teammates. <laughs> now looking at the hitting, Michaela, obviously, you lead the team in RBIs, and uh, you got seven players that have double-digit RBIs. What is it like to be in this type of lineup that has this kind of power? Yeah, um, it kind of takes the pressure off individually. It's definitely a team sport when yeah. it comes to softball overall, and so it's kind of playing the best um, every day and bringing your best and knowing that it's a team sport and everyone's going to be there to back you up. Now, kind of looking at the game yesterday, that 6-5 loss was kind of tough loss. Mm -hmm. But when, you, let's say, you're you, like someone like you that comes up to the plate, when you're down by one run or two run, do you feel any extra pressure to get that victory or to help your team out to get that W? Um, luckily, no. I think we practice at a high level and practice with that pressure um, to be ready for those situations. and. Um, just to not put that added pressure, I think, is a big part of it. It's a lot of a mental game, just as much of a physical game. So to not put that added pressure, I think, is important. So, Coach, Michaela just touched on those tough situations. This weekend, you got four games in two days. What kind of negatives and what kind of positives come out of a weekend like this? Yeah, well, we're used to busy schedules. So down in Florida, we'll play uh, 12 to 14 games, actually more than that, with the junior varsity schedule in eight days, so we're, we're used to just having a jam-packed schedule. And it really, it's the ability to just stay more even keel, not to get too low or too high after wins or losses. Um, because a loss, if you let that lead in, you could easily have four or six losses within three days. So the idea is you just gotta be able to bounce back really fast. Our, our ability to focus and refocus is real important. It'll definitely be a jam-packed weekend. Yeah. We'll be back after a short message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Coach, Senior Kit Snyder wants to know, what's your favorite memory from your playing days? Playing days, uh, playing in front of about 15, 20,000 people against the best team in the world, and then probably hitting a home run off the best pitcher in the world. So, good memory. Now, obviously, that was a huge memory playing against the best team. And in the Olympics, you actually turned down two jobs to coach in the 2008 Olympics. Why? What was going on, and what, why'd you do that? You can't leave these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it really it becomes, yeah, you don't want to leave your program. You could take a year leave of absence, but then where's the program at? doesn't take long to fall, so you got to kind of stay with it. Um, so that's the biggest thing. It's just kind of hard to leave your job and then try to come back and pick up because once you lose something, it's hard to get it back. Now, Kirsten, you've had a short season. Do you have a favorite memory from this season so far? Um, I think just battling with um, Williams, our last game in Florida. That was a good game by both teams. We really played our heart out and hit the ball really well. Michaela, four years. Can you pick one? Oh, my gosh. There's so many, um, so many different teams, so many good memories. But I would say... Uh, I would second the Williams game and also the central game that we played this past season under the lights. Those games are the games that you're going to never forget. So um, with the people that you love and the teammates that you really care about. So that was a big memory for me, I would say, thus far. Sounds amazing. Thanks for coming in, guys, and good luck this weekend. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. With coach John Cheetah, Kirsten Anderson-Glass, and Michaela Trainer. I'm Jesse Kroll. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.